January 28, His Lenses on My Life and Yours. Not one sparrow, what do they cost? Two for a penny can fall to the ground without your father knowing it. Matthew chapter 10 verse 29. It had been one of the busiest years for me professionally and personally. Our school had lost two teachers just within two months in the same class, and I had to add teaching a third grade class to an already crowded workload as an administrator. I was finishing my doctoral dissertation, and in the middle of the school year, I suffered a fall that left me racked with pain. Now, the last school day was here, but rest would come only after my nephew's high school graduation. I was physically and emotionally trained, and most of all, I was struggling spiritually as I needed to see the hand of God in my sister's life. She was going through a terrible time, and it appeared that the enemy was winning through its agents of injustice and deceit. My sister Nathalie was hurting, and her troubles kept my heart company as we drove to the graduation. I shared my worries with my husband, Walden, and he listened sorrowfully as I spoke through my sobs until we arrived at the university. Upon our arrival, we joined the rest of the family and took our seats. My brother-in-law, Winston, sat next to me. He shed the camera from across his shoulders, wiggled in his seat for comfort, and adjusted his camera lenses on his son, Jared, who sat among more than 800 graduates. For the next four hours, Winston focused his lenses on his son, and he did not move. He captured his son's every stare and smile. As Jared scuttled for his diploma, his father caught his happiness and high fives. When the whole ceremony was done, Winston quietly placed his camera down and sighed with relief. Right there. The Holy Spirit spoke a lesson into my heart. Do you see this? He seemed to marvel. Do you see how this man's lenses were peeled solely on his boy? Cannot God see your sister and set things right for her? The Spirit of God uses the simplest moment to teach the deepest spiritual lessons. Why am I fretting? The one who keeps my sister does not slumber or sleep. Psalms chapter 121 verse 4 Nor does he tire. My faith and joy renewed. I related God's message of hope to my husband and later to my sister. We all prayed and anticipated God's promises to materialize. And they did in time. If God can see the tiny sparrow fall, surely in times of distress, His lenses are centered in me my sister, and you. Rose Joseph Thomas